Hey guys, today I'm going to show you three things. I'm going to show you how to create a virtual class. I'm going to show you how to create a Bitmoji. And I'm also going to show you how to create a Google Classroom that you can use to share these resources with your child and also do a lot more. But we're not going to go very in depth. I'm just going to show you the basics. So first you're going to go to Google. And if you don't have a Google email, you need to create one, but I already have mine. So once you've done that, you're going to go up here to these dots and click it and go to Google Drive. What you're going to do first is go up here to New. So click New and go down to Google Slides. So this is what's going to come up. It's going to be a blank one. I'm going to delete, click on this and delete it because we don't need those. Click and delete. And then I'm going to go ahead and go up here and title my classroom. So I'm going to come up here and click where it says Untitled Presentation. And I'm going to call it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine Homeschool. All right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to build our room. So first thing I'm going to do is change this, black, this blank white space into a class or some kind of room looking theme and we're going to go to change background you right click change background or you can click up here background and then you're going to go to image and choose image so I'm going to go over to Google image search and I'm going to do background wall and floor so this is going to give me a lot of different options so what you can do is choose whichever one you like the most. You can make it a flat wall. You can make it a 3D kind of look. That's totally up to you. So what I'm going to choose is this one right here. Mine's going to be more realistic. Um, I am going to share with you guys one that I have actually already created in the description so that you can kind of use some stuff from that as well but so once I've clicked it you can click add to theme and if you click add a theme that's actually going to um, add this background to any new slides that you create later so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then click done so now we have our basic room here and you can change the view size if yours is showing up smaller some of yours uh, some of you might have one that's not quite um, as big as mine. Yours might look like this. So you can go to view, zoom, and fit. It might look a little blurry, but I promise it's not going to be later. So I have that. So there's our background. And then what we're going to do is work on adding some things to make it look more like a room that we could use to teach. So let's go to insert image and search the web so over here we're going to actually type in transparent let's do board because we're going to add that even if you don't have one in your room it'll be really useful for this type of online room so transparent board we want it to be transparent so it doesn't have a background and it gives you a lot of different options Obviously, some are better than others. So let's see. Let's try this one. You click it, and then you go down to insert. Let's see what this one looks like. Okay, this one's not so bad. I think this will work for what I want to use it for. So um, you can resize it however you want. And I actually want to cut off this um, kind of border that it has. So I'm going to right click and crop image. I'm just going to drag it to these black lines. Oops. That it has so that way I can get rid of such a big thick border because I don't need a big thick border. So I'm going to do it on all sides. And once I have it, I click off and there we go. So another idea to kind of help make things pop is to click it and right click format options and go over here to drop shadow. Kind of makes things just stand out a little bit and you'll see a little bit more why later. All right, 
So you can add as little or as much as you want to this. So let's do insert again, image, search the web, transparent lights. Let's see, these are kind of nice. I kind of want some hanging lights that I can use. All right, I think I'm going to use these here. Let's see. Click it, insert. And let's put these at the top. And I don't want them to be really big. Um, I think that'll work there just like that. And then let's right click, format options, drop shadow. Uh, I also want to show, I'm going to share this down in the description as well. This is um, something that I've used when creating some of my other rooms. Um, it's called Virtual Classroom Resources. And I made a copy for me and it has actual boards and uh, bookshelves and it has so much to choose from. So you can look down as I'm scrolling at all the different things that you can use. And it's actually a little bit easier than having to go through the in insert image and search because they have a lot already here for you. So it kind of takes out a lot of the searching when you can find it all here. And they even have some backgrounds that are cute to use that you can um, do instead. If you want to make yours more cutesy instead of more realistic, that's totally up to you. So I actually want to go and I'm going to use I'm going to choose, let's see, these lights right here. I'm going to copy and then go back to my homeschool slide up at the top and hit paste. And let's drag these to the top. And I don't want them to be quite so big. Don't want them to hang down so far. So I'm going to, okay, that, that should be pretty good. Let's move them up. There we go. And I want more of these to go all the way across, but before I do that, I'm make sure I go to Format Options, Drop Shadow. Remember you do that by right click. And then I'm gonna click it again and hit Control D, which is going to copy it or duplicate it. And I want these to touch, look like they're kind of strung all across the top. And I want it to go a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to drag it. There we go. And you can actually recolor these if you want, but do remember that it um, will try to change how they look. All right. So now these are kind of in front of my board. So I'm going to click my board here and go up here to arrange, order, bring to front. There we go. So you can see we're kind of starting to build a little bit more. Um, I want to find... Let's see, let's do a bookshelf. So let's go up in my virtual classroom resources and I'm going to find a bookshelf. Um, I kind of like this one. Let's do this one. I'm going to click it, hit copy, and then paste. So we don't want it to be that big. I can resize it however I want. And then on this one, you can put some books, you can put some assignments, kind of depends on what you want to do here. Um, let's see, now let's go back and hit my virtual classroom resources again. And I want to find some kind of table, I think. You see they have a bunch of shelves. And this is where um, I could actually get some stuff and link it. Um, let's do that first. So let's get this globe here. I'm going to copy and right click on my homeschool slide or click on my homeschool slide and then right click and paste. And I'm going to have that sitting on top of my shelf. And right click, format options, drop shadow so it looks a little bit more realistic. 
make it look like it's sitting up there. And I forgot to do that for my shelf too. There we go. So you can see it's sitting on top of there. All right, so um, I do have a website that I will show you how to do um, a link to this and you can do this for all kinds of objects depending on what you want to do. If you know there's some that you already use when you do your homeschooling, this will be a good place to start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the website, which I have already done. Um, this is a World Geography Continents game. Um, so I have my URL up here. I'm going to click it and right click copy and go back to my homeschool slide. And then for this, there's this button up here. It says insert link. I'm going to click insert link and then right click paste and it has your link. So click apply. So now when your kids see this page, they can click on it and it'll take them straight to that link. So I'll show you. Uh, let's go up here and hit present. This is what your kids will see when they go to this. So you can see they can't move anything, which is good. But they can still come over here to this globe that we just put that game on. So you can click it and it will take them straight to whatever it is that you have linked there. Okay, so to get out of this, hit escape and it'll bring you back. All right, so let's um, add some text here. So we're going to go up here to this text box and we're going to just drag it so we can add our own text. And I like to use something that uh, has correct looking letters because those can be hard to find sometimes. So coming soon is a good one for that. If you go to your fonts, coming soon. Um, this week's lessons. And uh, let's actually do lessons for week one. I'm going to center it. So lessons for week one. And then here we can actually do math, reading, writing, science, social studies, Bible, and so on. And you can make the, these bigger or smaller depending on what you need. All right, um, so I'm going to show you how to make another slide so that if you want to link some things, uh, I'll show you how to do that so that your kids can see only what they click on and it'll be like different classrooms that you can make for each subject. So let's go over here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to click uh, new slide. We can get rid of this, delete, delete. And we're going to make this, let's say, our math room. So this will be our math room, and I can decorate this however I want. So for linking purposes, I'm not going to show you how to make a million different rooms right now. I'll bring up my other classroom in a minute, in a minute to show you what that looks like. But um, let's go up here in math. I'm going to select it. So I just click and select the word math and go right here and click Insert Link. So you see this says slides in this presentation. So I'm gonna click the down arrow and this is my math one will be on slide two and then click apply. So it will change it to a hyperlink. Um, you can change that font back to black if you want and get rid of the underline, it's totally up to you. Um, you can also add pictures and link it just like we did this if you'd rather have like a picture of something to do with math um, you can do that, but I do um, like to like either walk my kids through where all the links are or make it to where, you know, you have a symbol for links or something like that so that the kids know what they can actually click on. So now if we go to present, we can click on math and it'll take them immediately to that room. So what I want to do, I don't want them to be able to, if you go to present and your kid clicks somewhere else, it's going to go to the next slide. I don't want that to happen. I only want them to be able to find the slides if they click on my links. So I'm going to come over here to slide two and I'm going to click skip slide. 
So now if they are in the presentation mode, if they click anywhere else, it's not going to take them to slide two automatically. All right, so that's how you link from websites and how you link to other slides. And again, you know, you can use this virtual classroom to add a bunch of stuff, or you can go to the insert image and do it that way as well. Those are kind of all ways that you can use to just link things to your virtual classroom. All right, the next thing I want to show you. All right, and then I'm going to add a desk to this. And let's go down and find a table or a desk that I can use or even a couch. Um, we could try just a couch or a chair. And it really doesn't matter. It's kind of your personal preference, what you want in yours. So I'm just going to choose this one. Copy. And let's paste it here. Again, now you can make it to where it has you or it has your child in it, depending on kind of what you want to do and how you want to design it. All right. And this is just basic, just for you guys to see. All right. Is the um, Bitmoji is kind of just a fun thing. You don't have to have these. Uh, I probably won't have one for my homeschool, but it, you can also make one for your child instead of having yourself. But I already had one created from when I was teaching, so let's show you how to do that. Let's open up a new window and you're going to go to bitmoji.com. And so you can um, download it on your phone, which I use it more on my phone than I do my computer. But you can see you can download all these here. I'm going to do it for Chrome Desktop because I'm doing it on my computer right now. So you can click it and then you'll hit install here. I already have it, so I don't need to do that. So click install, it'll load, and then it'll be there. So when I am here actually in my homeschool slide, I can come up here to this puzzle piece and click Bitmoji. It says get started, let's click there, and then you're going to log in. And it says that you're logged in, so you can exit off. Go back to your classroom slide, and again, um, It'll take you through the process of making your own Bitmoji, but I have already done that. So I'm going to click Bitmoji, and you can see it has you already loaded or your Bitmoji already loaded doing a million different things. So I'm just going to say sitting and choose my one sitting, and it says right click and choose copy image. So I'm going to do that and then paste. It in there and I want to resize it so that I don't look like I'm quite so tiny let's see let's make me there we go and of course you know I can adjust my chair as well but it'd be kind of fun if you have one with your child you create one for your child and y'all work together to do that and then they can see themselves in the classroom but that is the Bitmojis. Now, the last thing that I wanted to share with you for this video is Google Classroom. So if you go back to My Drive, if you go to My Drive, you can click on Google Apps and then click, go down and find Classroom. And um, you can hit the plus. I already made this one, but I'll show you how to walk through another one. You can hit the plus up here to create or join a class. So let's click and create a class. Read all of these. I've already done that. Click yes, continue, and make a name. You can na name yours whatever you want. Mine says homeschool. Create. And it's going to create it. Now you can make yours as detailed as you want, as you can see, um, but I'm just kind of walking you through these little steps 
in case you're not familiar with it. So you can kind of design yours as you want or um, in the description I will have a link to some of the ones that I've already made so far. All right, so here's my homeschool classroom. Right here it has a class code. Your kid will need this um, to get in or I'll show you a way to add them. They do need their own Google email. So you can make one for them. They don't even have to really have access to it if you don't want. Um, but I'm going to show you how to invite. You go up here to people. And you can see I don't have any students. You can invite them or give them the code. But I'm going to invite them. So I'm going to click invite students. And this is where you're going to type the kid's name at email.com. And it should find them, but it should if they already have one. You're going to click it and then click invite. So then you would go to your kid's email and click the link and then um, you can join it and then their name will show up here. I'll show you um, what that will look like. So you can see that I added my child here and you can click on it and let me show you why Google Classroom is a good thing to have or a good place to put some stuff. It kind of keeps everything all organized for you. So let's go up here to Classwork. And this is where we're going to actually add our Google, that classroom in the slides that we just made. So we're going to click Create. And we're going to use a, we're going to make this a material so that it is something that is always there. So click material, title, I'm going to call this homeschool virtual class. And you can title it whatever you want. I'm going to click add and we're going to add a link. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to, um, you can share it, hit share, and um, come down here to where it says get link. And you can do anyone with a link. And you want to make sure that it's viewer only because you don't want them to be able to go in and change things. And you copy link and then paste it. Or you can actually come up here and um, get rid of this edit part. So everything after the slash and hit delete and type in present. That way it comes up and your kid can't click through to the next slide. So we're going to click up here, copy, and then paste and add link. So now when they want to go through to their Google virtual class, I can have links to videos or whatever and it'll come up correctly for them. It's just since I'm on my name, it's showing it this way. But it'll show up whatever I have linked on my main page here. All right, so those are just some quick tips. Um, I will be making some more videos on other things that you can do. And I will also share some resources with you Mind you, some of these resources that I'm sharing are not my own. They have been shared through Facebook and have been given permission to use. So that way, you know, you don't have to start from scratch. I do want to show you um, one of my classrooms. Let me bring that up that I've already created and kind of walk you through all of the things that you are capable of doing through this Google Slides. All right, so this is um, a class. This is a class that I started helping my sister make because she is still in the classroom. So um, I'll show you, this is kind of her main page, her classroom page like we created. Um, but I've already went in and added links to different things. So you can kind of see um, I have some shelves here and I have different subject areas. So let's click on math. And you see it takes me straight to the math page. This is what the students would see. And I have a bunch of things I've already built in. So everything that you see here has a link to something. So um, if I click here, it's going to bring me to 
base tens that I can use. Um, I can manipulate. Um, this one here is a video that you can do. Um, I have all kinds of links here. So you can see that everything that I've included, I have already added all my links like I showed you guys before. And I added this up here. This is useful. You guys might, in case you haven't thought of, click this to go back to the main page so that your kid doesn't kind of get lost since you're not allowing them to just click through. So social studies, again, it's just links to other things. Some videos, and this one actually has a link for each letter of the alphabet. Um, you can kind of see this one I have linked to uh, another slideshow that someone else created, and these are all linked as well. Um, and these are linked for every video or every letter in the alphabet. You can kind of scroll through those and see. So you really can do a lot with kind of in one spot for your kid and not just a million different things and pieces of paper and stuff that you're having to keep track of. And you can see I have this linked. Phonics. So um, the short A sound, short E. This is someone else's resource yet again. And these are at the end of their slides. I do have their information so if you want to see who made these it's all there but yeah so I've tried to make it as interactive so that um, the kids can get to all the information without me having to sit there with them constantly but again things that I have started uh, it's obviously not so far so if you have any questions let me know in the comments again if they're is anything specific you would like to see in a video, um, how you would use it at home, then let me know. And I will make another tutorial for you or I will message you or respond to you and answer your question as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this really helps. Uh, I thought it was just something really fun and interesting and a great way to kind of use technology, but in a learning fashion rather than just by games. And some of this that you see is custom, um, custom artwork that I've made. So please don't share that stuff without permission. All the stuff that I have shared, um, I have had permission to use. So don't obviously resell this by any means. All right. Thanks, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.